hello my cutie popping boss queen cutie popping boss queen <laughs> how are you all doing i hope you all are doing great you guys are always popping if you're on this channel you are a popping kitty popping boss queen kitty i'm popping i'm you know you're a boss queen so you have to be popping and glowing i hope i'm looking cute guys <laughs> i don't know how my makeup is looking because yeah I just finished doing someone's makeup for my other channel and I quickly put on my lip gloss. I think I did my brows in the morning, but just quickly did lip gloss and I just put a little powder. But well, I hope I'm looking cute and come around. I'm not looking funny. But yes, <laughs> thank you guys for always tuning in. Thank you for the support. Okay, by the title of this video, today we are going to be talking about business. Okay, just little tips here and there you know for like business maybe i will say small businesses if you're already big you might know or you might be doing some of these things i'm gonna be saying in this video so yeah okay guys let me tell you the reason why i'm doing this video first of all guys the reason why most people don't do like business videos tips and all of those kind of stuff because most people will not watch you see this video if i title it business tips this blah 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 most people will not watch but if i say oh my god somebody beat me oh my god my husband did this oh my god you will see people want to watch oh my god what happened what happened because the thing is this year a lot of people are more interested in gossip what's happening than knowledge this is why if you notice most people just prefer to do you know most people just prefer to do entertainment, you know, stuff, taking you guys out and about, eating, doing stuff. Because a lot of people will not watch this video. A lot of people. But if you want your family and friends to watch this video, you can share with them. Yes, share this video because you guys, again, a lot of people do not share stuff like this. They keep it to themselves because they are selfish. Don't be selfish, okay? Share with your friend if you know any friend upcoming you know business owner who you think will need this you know team just share with them okay so yeah the reason why i chose this topic so is about let me say marketing branding or something in between so it's more or less how to make your business visible or how to attract more customers online okay First of all, the reason why I'm doing this video is because I am looking for a hairdresser, a makeup artist, and a gilly artist for my studio in Nigeria. So I was just online because I, I put up an advert and I cannot... The people that are sending their application, I do not really, really like their work. So I'm like, oh, I just like, okay, let me go online and see if I can find someone online who is ready to work. You get what I mean? Because obviously some people are self-employed. They might not mind working for someone, you know so i was looking online okay i was looking online so first of all i used the hashtag aja lakey hairdresser aja lakey makeup artist blah 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 then what i realized is yeah after i did that i now like okay let me just use lagos i used lagos and then when i saw some of people some people are tagging lagos but when i actually visited their profile so i visited a, lo a few profiles and i'm like okay let me see because i like this person john let me see you let me see let me just check their profile after then as well i went to some makeup artists that live around lakey aja and what i did was under their comment section because you guys if you want to know who is around that area or if you want to find people who do similar business if you go like under some makeup artist post most people that comment on their under their post, most people that like things, or most people that say something like, "Oh, this is why I use I use this eyeshadow too, I use this lipstick as well." Most of them are makeup artists as well or hairdressers as well, so they follow each other. So I look at the comment section as well. So I saw a few as well, yeah, that they are makeup artists. Obviously, by their name, you will know somebody that this person makeup, this person studio, this person blah blah blah. But there is one thing that I noticed, which I think I want to point out and I want to share with you guys so you guys will not make this mistake. So I visited a few profiles. Guys, I did this on Facebook, I did it on Instagram. 
I visited a few profile and guess what yeah I noticed one thing one I noticed their quality the picture quality most of them I over they put too much filter on their work okay so if you're a makeup artist or your hairdresser I will say edit but don't over edit don't get me wrong there are some beautiful edit that will, that will still look professional but then some of them you just know these people just use camera 360 or something just edit edit so I can't really see their work okay and that's a deal breaker because I can't see your work you've already um, edit your picture you've already edited your picture I cannot see your blush I cannot see anything the only thing I'm seeing is brows and lipstick I can't even see the skin work. That's one thing I noticed. So this is for this one. Even though you're not a makeup artist or you're not a hairdresser and you don't fall into this category, anything you're selling, make it actually look like what people, what you will send to people. Like if you're selling a product, photograph it really well. Make sure the color is like the way it appears in picture. You get what I mean? So most people always when they are selling products. They don't try to take picture in natural light and when people buy people will not be satisfied because they saw a different picture or maybe the red is too red maybe you add a saturation and the red is too red and so this applies to everyone make sure that what you're listing on anywhere even on your website they are they are just like the way it looks in real life even if you're selling outfits don't take the picture like if you know this outfit is like the the leg of the trouser is flare don't take it in a way that the flare will not show then when i buy it i'm like okay doesn't look like this okay that's one another thing i notice is location i don't know why people anyone will be on the internet they can't even take their time and write a good bio like a good description Okay, so I went to their bio and uh, you know some most times people write things on their bio like hair and makeup artist in this blah 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 hair and makeup artist in this place and uh, email address phone number blah 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 guys I went to some profile they didn't even write like they didn't even write anything on their profile like nothing apart from their username and their name that's about it nothing like nothing they, you know those little things people don't pay attention how they you know take your time write make sure your profile looks nice you are about your bio i think that's what they call it on instagram your bio looks beautiful you write more information about you so when people just visit your profile they can just know where you are you know what you do if you're available for home service write it there if you're available for travel, write it. They just write something that you know people will be looking for. You get what I mean? So that one as well, I was like, wow. So somebody can actually open Instagram and the person is busy posting picture, posting picture, posting picture. picture. Most times people forget that they can actually they, they can actually get clients online. They are busy with the client they have, like, okay, they have their personal client. You know, somebody is telling somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody, and they believe, like, okay, fine. If I don't kitchen makeup, kitchen will tell her friend. If I do Choma's makeup, Choma will tell her friend. So for them, they're like, okay, I think it's okay because I'm getting client from Choma and Kechi that I did yesterday. But you don't know if you build your online profile, you can actually get more clients. So that's number one. Take your time. Write nice. Even if it's a website, some people just post as well. <laughs> List the product with that description. You need to describe like this if you're listing something take your time write description this yellow top is this this it has flair it has this the material is stretchy you can and even if the size is not true to size you can be like okay the size our size is smaller so you can buy a bigger size if you're this size buy one size up or buy one size you know buy one size down so it's just like Try to take your time, list things that will actually help you to sell because all those things are little things that will actually increase sales for you. Okay, another one, another thing I noticed is this. Yeah, say for instance, if I want to call you, I don't even know where you are, I know you're in Lagos, but because I need somebody in Aja, I cannot call the person because you didn't actually say your location. 
you know at least you can just say oh look at it this 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 you didn't even say so for me i can i don't want to waste my time messaging you like dm dm you okay another one guys some of them don't have numbers like i press the contact thing there's no number then on their profile there's no number there's no email address so for them it's just like dm me if you need my service dm me and some people not a lot of people want to dm they want to call you or they want to send you email so you might be losing a lot of clients because you do not have a contact details on your profile you're like okay it's instagram the person will just dm me and let me tell you what yeah not everybody know about dm i'm telling you this i have an auntie I have this aunt I was telling her, oh, somebody sent me this prank idea on, on my DM. She like DM, I like DM direct messages, this message on what's um Instagram. And she's like, oh, you can send message on Instagram. I like, yeah, you can even call someone on Instagram. She's like, oh, I didn't know that. Okay, somebody like this. If she's on your profile, she wouldn't she wouldn't even know she can send you direct message. Some of you don't know you can even direct direct message, send direct direct message on Instagram, or even some people don't even know nothing. So you most people just go to your contacts, contacts straight up. So that's for me. I cannot even contact the person, even though I love that job. I'm like, okay, I don't even know where you are. First of all, so I don't want to waste my time to DM me. I don't want to waste my time to DM you, you know, stuff like that. Another thing I notice is price. Oh, guys, a lot of people don't want to list their price. A lot of people don't want to list their price online. They're like, mm, they don't want to list their price. Don't want some of them don't want to list their price for different reasons. Okay, say for instance, yeah, this one happens a lot. This one happens a lot, even um, among people who are already there, like big, you know, business owners. Some of them don't want to list price and i'm thinking why do you not want to list and i'm thinking why did you not want to list your price online some of them like some of them they don't want their competitor to be like oh my gosh she's cheap she's taking this price for the hair she's taking 70 pounds for hair oh my gosh she's cheap and that's number one number two people feel like okay if they call me i can tell them or when they come to me or if somebody introduced them to me, the person that introduced them to me, if I know the person is poor, then I will know she too will be poor. And I can tell her, you know, if they call it, hello, uh, who gave you my number? Oh, Chi Chi. Okay, Chi Chi. Our friends who have money. Okay, 200 pounds. It's not the way to run business. Because the thing is, you might think you're winning, but you might also be losing clients. Because some people will not even call you. They just want to go to price list. A lot of people who go to my platform to book hairdressers and makeup artists, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. When we check the page that has more view, is the word services and price list page. People just want to quickly go to services to check their price list before they even, even want to check anything portfolio. They want to like, people just want to check if they, are, if they can afford it. People just don't want to waste their time to call you for you to tell them price. They just want to check first. So sometimes you listing your price, like say for instance, I do hair and you do hair and I list my price online and you did not list your price online some people would prefer to just go for me especially if we're actually good like both of us have the same quality of work you know the quality of our work is the same they're like okay this person listed let me just go with this one because I, at least I know her price is online there's not gonna be any hidden charges but you are like mm, I don't want to call her she might be expensive I don't want to call her so by so doing, you've already lost clients. You get what I mean? So be transparent in your price. I don't know. You guys should actually comment. Some people feel like, oh, it's not good for you to list your price online. So I think most times it's personal preference. But for me personally, I always list my price online. So when you go, you already know. I don't want you to waste my time. I waste your own time. Because some people will waste your time. Let me not even let me even know. Let me even tell you this. Some people will waste your time. You will think you want to waste their time. They will waste your time. They will, they will even call you, chat, blah, blah, blah. blah. And then when you tell them, oh, sorry. some people will send you email. You send your time, reply email and everything. With them. So sometimes it's better they know the price. So we do not waste each other's time. You get what I mean? So it's better. You list it. So anyone that calls you, that like, hello, I saw your website. Like, I'm calling you from your website. You already know. Okay, they know. They saw the price before they called you. You get, you know, because most times, even when people find you on social media, because I notice when people find me on, on like social media, 
they quickly go to my website to go and check if they can afford up before they call or sometimes that's why it's even easier when people are like oh i want to book you for my my blah 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 you're like okay that's fine i'll send you the link to my price list instead of you instead of you telling them oh this one that one this one hey if you want to do this i'll charge you as if you want to do this at least you just send them your price link link to your price list and these days you don't even need to have a website is this a um, book book me book something that people use an app now like people use that you can just list your price list your about list a little bit of thing and people can actually book your life just an is a booking app i guess and you can just sign up and you just put the link there so you don't really really need to have a proper website to do that now so yeah those things are really really important but you guys i want you to actually like put your own five cents when it comes to price list because a lot of people be like oh no when you put your prices prices price list online some people will not even call you because the thing is why do you want anybody to call you who cannot afford your price list then the thing is if you know your price list is high and you know you can take low why not even put the actual price that you know you can you can do the job for don't be like oh my god people are gonna run away when see my price then that means if they call you you're gonna reduce the price Anyone that's going to run away when they see your price, they are not worth your time, they're not even worth you talking to them. So the thing is, I think you should list it, but I actually want you guys to actually put your own five cents. Because a lot of people will disagree. So many people don't like it. They're like, oh, I don't want to put my price online. So people don't say it and all of those. So it depends though. Maybe some people might not be able to list their price list online, depending on the kind of job they do like if they are doing like therapy or something maybe they don't want to list it but if it's if you're actually a therapist you might you will have your hourly charge so i think you should still list it somehow so if i'm coming to you as a therapist therapist and i know that okay one hour she charges one hour this blah blah she charges so i still think you should list it but yeah you guys comment down below also website you guys a lot of people like a lot of people feel like because they have Instagram and all of those kind of stuff, they don't need a website. You need a website, okay? People take you more serious when you have a website, even if you're small. You can even have hundreds. You can even have hundred subscribers or hundred Instagram followers. But when people see that you're organized, everything is there. You are about is fine. You, you have already said where you are. You already say you are available for to travel. You really put more information about you, and you have your contact details. Then you have your website. Oh my God! Be like, oh wow, she's really organized. You know, people would just want to book you because they feel like, okay, I just want to work with her, or I just want to work with him. So that's it. Yeah website is very important also another one that i want to point out is yeah most people don't create enough content online okay try to create more content online and to be honest you don't even need to show your face you don't need to show your face you can just show your hand like creating content like whatever you do if you cook create more content create more content 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 try to post every other day every other day every other day don't just post one today and before you post another one one more time even if you do makeup and you don't have client call your friend call your sister call your cousin just do free makeup for them just, just so you can have something to post online a lot of people don't want to do something for free but you have to do something for free if you want to get there you have to be able to cook, cook. you have to be able to cook for free cook for people for free just so you can have video to post cook just cook just cook because to be honest if you cook every now and then you post different kind of foods you can even cook and just call one of your friends like oh i have food i just made for my video just take the cost price that way you won't lose you get what i mean so yeah that's how that's how so that is how you create more concern this year guys this is what i want to say to you guys here this year please if you're a small upcoming business person business person let me not say man woman business person business business woman businessman okay please try just go to all your profile visit your facebook visit your instagram visit your youtube try to make sure everything is looking nice make sure your about is in, on, intact make sure your location is intact and again you know sometimes here yeah, people don't know when you give more information about yourself people want to book you there's this girl on youtube what's her name Oh, what's her name? They, I think she has twin. There are two girls. I think they are twin. Yeah, they are twin. One of them has one of them is a friend to Jackie Aina. Oh, what's her name? 
Oh dear, I forgot her name. But the thing is, yeah, this baby, yeah, she's in America. She's a, she's a beauty content creator, okay? So, this baby, yeah, if you go to, under her video, yeah, she even have her age. She like, she, she actually wrote, I live in this place. I am this, I am 19 years, I am, she, she actually wrote, I live in blah, 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 yes, I am, da, 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 da. she wrote more, you're like, oh my God, she even wrote her age. Yes. Because the thing you don't understand is, the thing you don't understand is, even some people might want to work with you, and they're like, hmm, I don't know how old she is. Especially if you look young, they might be like, okay, she's not of age. But if you look mature, you don't need to write your age, because people know, okay, you're around this age. But some people look very young, and they're like, okay, people, are, people might not want to work with me, they're like, oh my gosh, she's under age or something. So most people actually write their age. If you anything you know that will help you to sell, to attract more clients, like, all everywhere, face my Facebook, my Instagram, I always put London, 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 UK. Because if you notice anywhere that like I do any listing, like anywhere on my platform, Facebook, Instagram, I always make sure I put London, United Kingdom, London, United Kingdom, London, United. Because it's easy for you to just see me or my accent or something, and you just think, okay, she's in Nigeria, she's in Nigeria, and I'll I'll be losing. I'll be losing money because people will just think, oh my gosh, she's in Nigeria. she be Nigeria. Oh my gosh, she have a Nigerian accent, so she's in Nigeria and blah blah blah. So I always make sure I put London United Kingdom, London United Kingdom, London United Kingdom, anywhere, London United Kingdom. So that if people want to use me, if people want to sponsor my video or people want to book me, they already know. They don't need to be thinking like, oh, okay, where is she? Is she in America? Is she in these days? Is in so it's, you make it easy for people to patronize you. You make it easy for people to patronize you. For instance, yeah, when I started doing makeup and hair when I first come, came when I first came to the UK, there is this lady that I met, yeah, when I where we first lived. This, the first place we lived, yeah. This lady, when she because when I came, I, I went to church and I met her. She just came as well then. And I'm like, oh I do make her. She's like, oh she make her as well. We added ourselves on Facebook and guess what, yeah? This lady. I'll be posting my work on Facebook, like the hair I do, blah, blah. Then I started with hair before I dance, I make up. And she'll be like, oh my God, Chi Chi, why are you posting the hair you do on Facebook? Like, to get more clients, she's like, no. She would never do that because she don't want people in Nigeria to know she came to London to be doing hair. Imagine that. Like, she like, she would never do that. Like, why? I was sure I was like, no. Like, how can she come to London? She'll be doing hair. People that she left in Nigeria, they will not think that, oh, people that she left in Nigeria, they will not know that she came to London to be doing hair. She's like, no, never. Like, okay. So imagine that. Imagine that people are actually ashamed. Some people will not even share anything they'd like. Some people, like, they have a business page, yeah, and they will never share it on their Facebook. They don't want people to know they do that business. I know someone, actually, who does that, yeah. She have a business, and she doesn't want people to know. And I'm like, share it to your profile. She's like, no, I don't want people to know I'm the face behind that. You get Because she doesn't just want people to know that she does that. You get what I mean? Okay, so, you guys, anyone I did not mention you at all, please mention it down below. So, this is just for, like, small businesses or people who actually don't know what to do to actually kick off okay we're gonna do more business talk like more in depth like proper you know people who are already in business what they should be doing okay so we're gonna do that in our next video <laughs> please make sure you like you comment make sure this video gets viewed if this video doesn't get much view i might not be doing business or but i'll just be doing things that you people want to watch going out you know dancing clubbing you know going around london touring london but yes if you guys want more of this kind of video make sure you thumbs up make sure you share with your family and friends okay